Hi, I'm here at night two of Twister Nationals at Riverside Speedway with the man, the myth, the legendary Frank Flood. Frank, you have a lot of wins under your belt this season. Can you give us a rundown of where you've been and some highlights of your season so far? Um, we haven't really traveled too much this year. My boss, uh, Mike Ross, who just bought Sawyer Chassis, wanted us to run for points at Port. And I'm leading A class in Outlaw, and our whole team is currently in the top five. And we've run here at the Nationals earlier. We've run uh, Muskogee a few times. We've run Port mainly. And next year's where we're really looking to start traveling. Awesome. And how has it been so far this weekend at the Twister Nationals? It's been awesome. Um, I've had a lot of great luck this weekend. I picked up A class and non wing win last night, come up one short for the hat trick. But it's something I'll live with. We're, we got the car back together, got it grouped up. I'll have something for Toho tonight for sure. And the rest of the crew had a good run, had a few bumps here and there. But I feel like we've got our game together tonight. We're really going to have something for them. Awesome. And are there any sponsors you'd like to thank for this season? Oh, there's tons. Um, like I said earlier, Mike Ross, he's been just the main support behind this whole thing this year. Buying Sawyer chassis, they've been a great help. And then, of course, I couldn't do it without like Bobby Springer and Dean Franklin, my dad, my parents. Um, Schoenfeld Headers, Outlaw Wings, Ghoul Injection, Metric Motors, Infinity Shocks. Uh, gosh, I, there's, I'm forgetting people. I know I am. So if I forget you, I'm sorry. Okay, if you were stranded on an island, you could only bring three objects and three people. Who and what would they be and why? If I get stranded anywhere, I hope it's going to be somewhere that's got a racetrack so I can take my racing team with me and my racing suit and everybody else that is associated with me on the racing stuff. And is there a song that describes your life? Uh, not really. I mean, if there's, there's a ton of songs, but I'm not sure we can talk about them on the air. <laughs> if Haas and I decided to come over for a nice little business dinner, what would you fix for us? I'd probably bring Taco Bell. <laughs> hey, I'm good with Taco Bell. Works for me. If you were any kind of cookie, what would you be? Chocolate chip. Solid. <laughs> if you could be any flavor of ice cream, what would you be? I don't know. I'd have to sit down and think about that one. It's, if it's ice cream, I'm good with it. Hey, are there any other sports that you like to watch, or is racing all it is? Racing. Uh, before racing, I was in soccer, but once I found racing... My dad raced, but once I got in the race car, it was just over there from there. That's all I had. Do you have any rituals or things you have to do before you race? Uh, we don't have enough time or enough battery to list all that stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you race tonight. We wish you luck. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you all.